Tonight be the tipping point. Right now, people living along a very busy stretch of roadway in southwest Atlanta want some drivers to slow down. This comes after a deadly head-on crash today on Campbellton Road involving an SUV and an ambulance. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn brought us this as breaking news at 5 and 6. He's back now live on Campbellton Road this evening. And Cody, you just learned some new details about the victims. We did, Jennifer. We now know that Taikido Miles, an EMS employee on board that ambulance, was killed. And just a short time ago, I confirmed that Jada Watley was the driver of the SUV who also died in this crash. And tonight we've learned she was a mother of three. 11 Alive Sky Tracker flew over a head on crash Monday afternoon. You can see a pro care ambulance in the middle of Campbellton Road. The van's passenger door ripped off in the grass in front of a flipped SUV. Ronald Simon lives a few hundred feet from the crash site. I heard something sound like a tree or a large hit. And I come out to the front and looked on the porch and I saw two vehicles, one smoking with people actually getting out. I think that was the pro care. Crime scene tape stretched across both lanes, the SUV and ambulance suffering extensive front end damage. Atlanta police confirmed the ambulance was transporting a patient. ProCare is based out of Lawrenceville and serves Gwinnett County and greater Atlanta. We know the driver and patient survived. However, one ProCare employee and the driver of the SUV died. People living along this stretch of Campbellton Road says something has to change. Most definitely something needs to be done out here. Marcus Gray lives a few hundred yards away near Kimberly Road. APD says in the last year they've responded to 11 crashes near that intersection alone. A lot of cars do come by going pretty fast. We get cars flying through here between 11 and 1. It happened on a regular basis. The crash happened around 1 o'clock. While there is no official word on what caused the crash, both Simon and Gray says the city needs to do something soon before something like this happens again. Maybe to get a light put right here on Butner and maybe one to put on Kimberly, it would slow that traffic down. We did reach out to ProCare EMS about this deadly crash, but so far they've not yet responded.